Hello everyone, welcome to the sort out of my wardrobe vlog. So, I kind of, I'm over my summer wardrobe now, I'm over this wardrobe, I want to move it into my autumn wardrobe, but we are not yet at that point because the weather is not, the weather's like all over the place at this time of year, it's like one minute it's like sunny and warm, then it's cold, then it's rainy, but then it's warm again, but then it's like muggy not ideal but I really need to sort my wardrobe out and I need to go through it and I need to sort out what's in here because some of the stuff I can 1000% pack away some of the stuff I um my brain's gone some of the stuff I'm not gonna wear some of the stuff I will keep out in case it is warm but basically I have this this rail right here which is full of stuff like ooh, what did I do there Okay, um, it's full of stuff that's like more autumn -y stuff, but it just looks messy because there's so much stuff on it. So, I want to sort through this because there's a lot of like, I have so many like summer dresses and dresses that I probably won't wear or like I'm not really interested in wearing right now. Like a lot of bright things that I'm just not going to wear because like bright colours tend to be more of a summer thing for me. But saying that, I will keep some like bright coloured things out but I just have a lot of like dresses for example these two here beaut dresses but I don't know whether I'm going to wear them I am going to keep some dresses out for like occasions um you know like when it comes to like nights out or what have you I am going to keep some like coloured dresses and stuff out for those occasions because there's sometimes when you go out and you just want to wear something that you really have in your wardrobe and I don't want to pack them all away but this does mean I need to pull out my under bed storage which has got some stuff some clothes and stuff in it which are more autumn appropriate but I don't want to get any winter stuff out because it's just too early but I just need to sort my wardrobe out look at let me show you this other door because this is something else look at this so the top one messy that one's all right that one's got my jeans in it um and then those are my tracksuit ones and I, did, I kid you not, my tracksuits are just constantly messy. I tried organising them in a different way and it just hasn't worked. So yeah, and I need to basically organise underneath my bed a bit better because I've got an under bed storage thing like right next to my bed, but I just don't use like it very well. And it's just full of random crap. So yeah, that is the video for today. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you guys along with me. Hopefully you enjoy this. It's not quite the switch over. The switch over I'm going to do in like a month's time when it's a bit colder because it's quite warm and I've also chosen to film this on a really hot day. It happens to be 27 degrees today so yeah let's do this. I'm going to start by taking everything out of the wardrobe like the stuff that's hanging and then I can like make a pile of things that I want to pack away, things I want to put back in my wardrobe, things I might wear, things I don't think I'll wear. So let's do this. Okay, I pulled all the things out of my wardrobe without turning the camera on. Stupid. But I'm now going to basically go through it and make a cell pile, make a pile of stuff to pack away, and then stuff back in the wardrobe. There are certain things that, like, I don't think there'll be a huge amount to sell, to be completely honest with you, because I actually am really into a lot of my clothes. I'm really trying to make sure that I don't buy things that I don't like. Um, but I am going to go through some of these things and just figure out, do I need these? Confessions of a shopaholic style, you know? Do I need these? Do I need these? Do I need these? Does anyone get it? If you're a Confessions of a Shopaholic fan, you'll get it. It's a freaking great movie. If you don't watch that movie or if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it's on Disney Plus. I would go watch it right now. After this video, of course. But watch it, it's great. It's a great movie. Okay, update. I have started to just start putting bits and bobs into the wardrobe that I know I want to keep for the next season. Some of them are like slightly summery, but where I don't really know where the weather's going over the next months or so. I don't want to like pack away every summer item that I own because it just seems silly, but I'm keeping a few things out that I can easily like create for a transitional outfit anyway. Um, but I'm just going through my dresses. My dresses are the hard part because I don't really know 
what I'm going to be into next summer. I don't really know whether I should keep things out. Um, but I'm just pondering over a few things. First one being this little toweling dress. It's really, really cute. But I actually don't know. Am I going to wear it next year? I just, I don't know. Is this going to be a, a trend? I'm kind of thinking I'm going to hold on to it. Because it's actually a really cute little dress. But I'm just like, will I wear it next year? I don't know. So that's going in my maybe pile. Um, then I've got this little yellow one, which is quite a cute one for like maybe wearing for dinner, if I wanted to go for something like a little bit brighter. So I might keep this one out. I've not actually probably worn this one out. So I feel like that one I'm gonna keep out. I'm really like stuck because weather, we're in like such a weird weather position at the moment. I'm like, what do you, what do you keep out? But I'm also so done with my summer wardrobe. So these t-shirt dresses, I think I'm gonna pack away. Um, I might keep one of them out <laughs> just in case. But this one I got last year, I've not worn it. Um, it's from Zara, but I'm going to keep hold of it because I really like the colour of it. I think some dresses are just like worthy of holding on to because they'll get wear at some point. Um, they just haven't been in trend that this year, and it's also not been very sunny. Um, I've got these dresses from Everlane which I could potentially style up. So I might keep those ones out um, for the time being. Now we get onto like proper summer dresses that I don't really think I'll wear. Like this one, gorgeous dress, more of a uh, summer slash holiday slash um, wedding style dress. I'm not going to any weddings, so I'm just gonna pack this one away. It's a beautiful dress, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. Um, I just won't wear it. Same with this one. I was debating selling this one. Um, I wore it to the football this year, but I do actually think it's really cute. I'm going to hold on to it for another year, and if I don't wear it next year, then I might get rid of it. But I did actually wear it this year, so it's quite impressive for me, because usually I don't really get around to wearing things. This again, another one. Beautiful dress. I've had this for two years, I think. Um, and it's a dress, you can get this on Shein. It's not even like a, a particularly expensive dress. I got this from Princess Polly like two years ago but I just think it's beautiful it's one of those dresses that's great for a wedding um and if I was going to a wedding this is definitely the dress that I would wear because I just think it's beautiful but I am not going to any weddings I have no weddings planned to go to so um if I ever need it I'll get it out but I don't um another dress from and other stories which I was going to sell uh at the start of the year but I decided to keep I'm going to hold on to that really nice dress this one's from abercrombie might keep this one out this one could be a good transitional dress but i just don't know because is it worthy of keeping anything out at this point would i put this on i don't know oh so difficult um this one i'm going to pack away this one's from forever new again great like really cute lovely summer dress if you're going to like a wedding christening anything like that but not for the winter season this is my good old trusty blazer dress which i've not yet worn because i got it during lockdown um it's from monkey this one i cannot wait to wear i'm hoping i'll have an occasion to wear it to um in the coming months because it's stunning i'm not really a like summer not summer a dress person so much in the winter so i probably won't have that many out by the time i'm done with this um but i am just gonna pack a lot away this one from uh this is from h&m beautiful dress not gonna get rid of it absolutely love it not had the occasion to wear it um and i probably won't wear it and then i've got these two ones two ones these two from um bash paris again i'm going to put these away they're beautiful dresses but they're very much holiday dresses and i have not been on holiday it's very sad so i'm gonna pop them um away so yeah that's basically my kind of thought process with the um items at the moment this dress another gorgeous one this one's from um oasis i just think it's a really good like um wedding guest dress which is why i held on to it because i think it's really pretty um but yeah that is all of the dresses at this current moment of time that i can seem to make a decision on um so yeah, and I'm going to do the same thing for, I did the same thing for the tops, 
not really done a very good job because I've only got some rid of some of them. Um, I say get rid of, I've only like sorted through some of them. I have to like do this where I have like a pile of things that I'm not sure on and then I go back through the pile of things I'm not sure on and decide later whether I actually want to keep them out or not. Um, these again, items that I'm not sure on. Those items on the door are like, yes, maybe no. So we're going, we're doing a good job. We've got a few things in the wardrobe, that's the main thing. We haven't even tackled the drawers. Uh, it's going to be a long day. <laughs> it is only quarter past twelve, so, you know, I'm not doing too bad. This dress, I'm going to keep. I'll catch you in a bit when I'm a bit further ahead. Okay, so my process is all over the shop, but I've got this pile of stuff that I, I just don't really know what to do with. So I'm going to sort out these other bits, and then maybe that will spur me on to figure out if I'm going to keep any of these bits out. Basically, some of the tops I want to put in here, but I don't have a lot of space because there's lots of stuff in here. Um, a lot of summery things, a lot of things I don't really want, so I need to go through this. And then this is all of my shorts, um, and I usually put trousers and stuff in here in the winter. Well, that's my aim anyway. Um, so I just need to go through some of these shorts, pack some of these away because I don't need all of these out. Um, and then I'd be able to put some of these tops in here that I'm not really sure what to do with. But this is what it's looking like in here. Nice and tidy, nice and neutral as we like it. Um, I've got a few kind of dresses here that are very seasonal appropriate in terms of colour. This is like a night out dress which I'm yet to wear. I do have a couple of other dresses I do definitely want to put back in here. Um, but they're here somewhere so we'll do that in a minute. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to go through this. Um, already I can see that... That's a bikini top, so I don't need that. I'm going to get rid of that. That one can go. Probably won't wear that. That one can go. Love that top. Um, what else? These ones are quite summery, so I will probably keep these, pack these away, because I don't think I'm going to be wearing a bright pink top anytime soon. Um, same with that one. This one I quite like wearing around the house. That one is yellow. Could put that away. Um, what else? These are all my white ones. I don't know about any of you guys, but I always get like tan stains on my white ones from forever, forever having to get new ones. But yeah, and then oh, I just need to go through all of the rest of these. These ones are quite old. They're usually ones I wear more in the autumn winter, so I'm just going to go through those um, now and then I'll get on to my shorts. Okay, we have an update. I have switched all of the stuff out of here that I didn't want. It's now in my. Um, tobacco away pile and I basically put all of the kind of longer length tops here a couple of long sleeve ones which I have these are knitted ones were hung up in my wardrobe but I don't know whether I'll wear them that much but I think they might be good for like evenings so I put those in here as well these ones are like roll necky type tops then a couple of coloured ones because I think there's another one that's in the wash which will sit in there some t-shirts like little crop t-shirts i'm really enjoying wearing those at the moment so i've brought those forward and then obviously have all of my white ones here i've got a black one which will sit here and then there's probably more to go here so that is that i'm very happy with that um i've managed to kind of filter out the other tops and stuff that i wasn't sure on i'm yet to decide on this i think i'm just going to pack it away because part of me is like will i wear it in the winter but i also don't think i will because it's not really a colour that I tend to gravitate towards, so I think I'm going to make the executive decision, pop it in my packaway pile. The packaway pile is so big, um, and I haven't even, like, thought about getting anything out yet, so <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go through this next, um, so I thought I'd just take you through it. I'm sorry if this video is really long, but I'm going to take you through it anyway. Those are my leather trousers. They are staying, um, and then I just have lots of shorts. I'm not really into denim shorts at the moment so they can go out i'm just thinking for any hot days but to be honest i'll probably just wear comfy shorts rather than wearing like something like this these are going to go um away these are just a really lovely pair of shorts which i got from zara a few years ago and then i'll also put these ones away because they're just they're proper hot like hot day summer shorts and i just don't think i'm gonna wear them um these ones can go away i'll keep out my denim shorts because they're good for styling these jogger shorts i'll keep out because they're good for um just like lounging about in and then this is my massive pile of cycling shorts of which i don't need all of them out because i'm not going to wear them yellow ones can go away pink ones green ones can go away god this pile is it going to stay who knows um i'll keep these ones out keep those adenola ones out they're good for wearing under stuff and those and then the black ones will stay 
those ones were more of an evening oh these were a pair of trousers I didn't think about that yeah so that is basically the short sorted um, I'm just going to try and make it look tidy and then if I have any other trousers that I don't want to hang up I'll whack them in here as well um, and probably just move the cycling shorts to the back I like to keep these out because they're good for layering under dresses um, and stuff when it gets colder um, to keep your legs warm so um, I'm going to keep these out they're also really comfy for wearing in bed so cycling shorts I will keep out um and then obviously when i do my second switch over i'll probably put a lot, few of these away but for now i'll keep them out um so yeah that's where we're up to now and then i think in a minute i'm gonna go through that stuff again and then hopefully i'll be a, at a better place to maybe get the stuff out of under my bed i have a lot of stuff there's a bag above my wardrobe there's a bag out in the hallway um in our hallway cupboards i've got a bag under my bed the one under my bed is the main one i want to get out um because it's got like boots in it and it's also got i think it's got a coat in it but i might try and put the coat elsewhere maybe hang it up in the cupboard um and then i can put my summer stuff in there um my nose is like proper running i had my cousin's dog um stay with me over the weekend and i was fine then and now for some reason my nose won't stop running um i think i have too much dog hair in my room basically <laughs> so i need to um get rid of my Get rid of change my duvet cover. You didn't need to know that. Anyway, I will catch up with you in a bit when we've got a bit more of a kind of tidy and organised room. Because that pile is literally like the Leaning Tower of Pisa over there. <laughs> Can we talk about the fact that there is nothing sat here? I'm on a roll. Um, this pile has got bigger. <laughs> um, and then this is what my wardrobe is looking like now. I actually think it looks a lot better it doesn't look so full it was so full there was so much stuff in here um obviously i have kept some summer dresses out um like i said earlier so that's what that look that's looking like and then this is my little rail which i've got some jackets and stuff on which i need to go through the jackets in the corridor because um i had some blazers and stuff in there so i'll probably put some of these in here and then i'll work out what's in there maybe bring a few in i'm not sure and then my next task is to go through this i'm back from lunch had a lovely little chilled out lunch and now i've just brought in some blazers that i had in the cupboard i'm just gonna go through them so i don't actually know if i like any of these blazers but this one's like a creamy beigey colored one. Oh, it's quite a good oversized Fit. i might try this on this is it on it's a lot tighter fitting than i thought it was going to be especially on the arms but i do love the color and the length is quite nice so i think i'm gonna hold on to this one actually because it's quite a good color i don't have another blazer in this color and sometimes you need more of like a fitted style and i do like this color so how many times can i say color i'm gonna keep hold of this one um then i have this greeny colored one it's not really coming up on green it's like a khaki green this one i'm definitely keeping i love this color i have matching trousers not sure where they are but i do have matching trousers for that and then this one is my mum from monkey which i love i had this i've had this for a few years actually such a beautiful blazer so i'm going to keep this i actually had one similar um color which I'm going to sell because I like this one more. So I'm going to keep that. And then I've got a few blazers on here that I am going to keep out. But I think I'm going to put this green one and my pink one. Potentially this one, but I think I might sell this um, in the other cupboard. Because I'm not going to reach for them as much. And I don't really want to put them away. Because they could be good for like evenings out and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, and then I'm going to tackle this bad boy. I've just opened this bag of stuff that's under my bed. Um, I knew this had all my boots in so I wanted to get it out anyway because it's boot season baby um, and I've just kind of started to pull some bits out of it had this leather jacket in there I don't know I might sell this because I'm not sure I'm going to wear it but I'll try it on um, then I've got what's this this is a little coat I'm going to hang this up and put this in the wardrobe um, because I need to put my summer clothes in here but this is a really cute little coat from Naked that I got last winter that's cute then I've got my boots. I don't have a huge amount of boots, actually, because I do tend to stick to the same ones. Um, but these are a nice little heeled pair. These ones are from River Island. Um, I got them last year. I might sell these if I can clean them up because I just bought my Balenciaga ones, so I might sell those. Um, but they're cute. And then I also have these ones, which are from Topshop. I might keep one pair just as, like, a backup cheaper pair for if i'm going somewhere and i don't want to wear my expensive ones um because they are really really good boots um 
Then I have these green ones, which I never got to wear last um, autumn, winter, because I just didn't get a chance to, and there was lockdown and everything. So, yeah, I've got those as well, which I forgot about. They're a tad squashed, but we moved. These are from Aloha's. Um, so, yeah, and then this is a bag of what I think jumpers and beanies um which i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with because it's not quite beanie season so i don't really want to get them out um nor is it knitted jumper season either so i'm not sure about this but i'm gonna pack my summer clothes into this and if i can fit this back in then i, then I will um but yeah pretty good going i've managed to um fit those blazers in here and it looks so much nicer you can tell that I like a neutral in the winter, can't you? Um, my blazers just look great. And then this is thing thinning out a little bit so I can start to plan some outfits and stuff on here. There's not so much stuff. Haven't tackled this yet, but we'll get there soon. My battery's flashing. So I'm gonna go, catch you in a bit. Summer clothes are officially packed up, even put my sandals in here and a couple of hats that are a little bit too summery. Um, and that is going to be zipped up and popped under my bed. Um, and then if I have any other bits, I will of course add them in, but I don't think I really will. There'll be a few bits, um, if not I'll pop them in my other suitcase. Um, so yeah, I can't actually believe I've packed all my summer clothes away. Um, there's definitely more to go in there, but there's definitely space, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, I feel quite good about this, making me feel really excited for autumn. Um, so I'm now going to shove that back under the bed and have a look at the bag of clothes, which is on top of my wardrobe, which is behind all of my stuff, um, and have a look about, about, have a look in there and see what I can find, um, because there's definitely some water winter bits in there. Okay, bag above the, um, wardrobe had exactly what I thought it did in it. Just some, like, more transitional winter pieces, like this sweater vest, this is also a sweater vest, some long sleeve tops, little vest tops, this, oh, this is my little thing that I never got to wear. It's like a little jumper without the jumper. Um, some trousers, and then this one had in, like, hats, a couple of, like, lighter knits, so I'm gonna get all of those out because they're here. Um... And then I'm pretty much pulled out all of the stuff that I want, like in terms of like autumn stuff. I've got all the stuff out that I need. I do have another bag of stuff in the wardrobe out there, but I think it's all probably more winter stuff. I don't really remember what's in it, but I think it's probably like knitted jumpers and like winter, winter stuff. So I'm not gonna go into that yet. I'm gonna wait till it's cooler. But since I've opened these bags, I might as well use them um, and put the stuff in my wardrobe because why not? Um, I also like pulled out those boots earlier, so I need to find some space on my shoe accessory shelf. Um, I'm thinking potentially at a later date of getting some more shelves for that because um, my shoe collection is very much growing quite quickly, my trainer collection in particular. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to hang these bits up and put them in my wardrobe and then I'm going to just tidy that last um, one with the track suits and stuff. Um, so it's tidy and then I need to pop out and go to the post office because I've been meaning to do it for like the last week and a half and I have not done it so <coughs> oh <coughs> oh that was weird too much took in too much air so I'm gonna do that and I'll show you the end result so it's a lot later on from when I last spoke to you um I'm now in the like dri dribs and drags so what would you call it I don't know of doing my wardrobe so we open this up it's looking fairly tidy i've put a couple of knits from that um bag that i found under my bed um you know it's more or less the same there's not really a huge amount of difference there drawers are the same um i've cleared a good chunk of that off some of that is just stuff that i want to style so i've just left it on there i've just gone through all of my stuff that i had in my sale bag that was like been sat there for ages and just like went and take took some to the recycling um thingy because it's not selling so I don't want to keep it just sat here I'd rather it go somewhere where it's going to be used for something else 
Um, so I've just done that. That's why I'm out of breath. It's quite hot today, but I don't want to open my window um, because I don't want the um, dust and the dog hair that's on my bed to move around because it's already affecting my nose as is. I don't need to make it any worse. So until I've tidied, I won't be able to open the window. So I'm just dying slightly. I do have my fan, so I might get that out. But I've got a few other things that I'm just going through that I need to take to the recycling thing. Um, which I'm going to do today because then it's out of the way because the, the bag of clothes that I've been needing to take to the recycling thing has been sat in the hallway for weeks upon weeks upon weeks and like it's just <laughs> don't need it don't need it so I'm just trying to go through everything um and I'm just doing the last little bit there's a tiny little sale pile just there of things that I think you guys would like slash would buy um and then we're slowly getting there slowly slowly getting there it's taken me all day apart from filming a video this morning um i've been doing this all day i feel knackered but it is currently 20 to 5 so i'm still gonna go i'm gonna carry on until it's done because it needs to be done um i also need to plan some outfits for tomorrow as well for some content that i need to shoot so that's fun um but we're getting there it's making me feel good i basically one thing i really really wanted to get rid of was the bag of stuff I had down here was just constantly there and I just want to make this area a bit nicer I know I know one thing that is going to go down there in a minute is my um, advent calendar that I got from the boy shop I don't really want to open it yet I want to save it till Christmas because I think it'd be quite a nice thing to open at Christmas um so yeah I'm not doing that I'm going to leave it there and make it as like a mini bedside table kind of thing um until I can find something else to go there I would like another bed bedside table there but then no one sleeps in my bed, so it'd be kind of useless. Maybe just to put things on, you know? But anywho, um, yeah, so we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Um, it kind of ended up being a wardrobe switchover, which wasn't intended, but I'm kind of happy about it because now I've found items that I completely forgot about and I'm ready to, like, style them again. So that's exciting. So I'm going to do that as well. Um, maybe do a little shop my wardrobe video I might do that soon because that's kind of fun just to show you like how you can style things that you've already got. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to go find another bin bag um, to take the other bits that I want to recycle. Um, but yeah, knackered, but we're almost there, which is good. And then I can change my duvet cover and I can get rid of this fucking dust and dog hair that's really making my nose go. Um, I'm hoping that's what it is and it's nothing else. I'm, I, I can't think of it being anything else. So we move. I think it's a lot of, there's a lot of dust in here and I need to get rid of it, which means I need to sort everything out, you know? Anywho, I'll catch up with you later when I've, um, oh, I've got to tell you, I put all of my boots in the shelf. Let me show you the shelf. So I took some of the sandals that were down here out. Um, this needs a tidy, let's ignore that. Um, basically the whole bottom is going to be heels because I don't really have a huge amount of heels, but these heels are really good for going on evenings out, nights out. I'm going on more kind of events and stuff so they could be quite useful i need to pack away those wedges i kind of want to sell them but it's the wrong time of year so i'm going to pack those away i've got the box under my bed put those away because i've not worn them they're very holiday vibes um and then move those ones down and then obviously i've got trainers all here as you can see my trainer collection is growing i actually bought a new pair which is coming very soon um and then i've got more trainers here more trainers here and then I put my boots up here. Now the boots need a higher section because they're tall. So I'm thinking of potentially getting rid of these items on here. Moving the boots down and then that will be two rows of bags. I don't have, oh I'm not showing you. I don't have like a full amount of bags. But I do have this bag full of like totes and stuff which I could put there. But then it's a question of where I put these which is why I need a kind of bedside table to go here so I can put those um, books and bits and bobs like pile them up and make it look pretty I do also have that area so I could put some bits on there as well um, but I just want my room to look a bit more minimal and not crazy intense which is why I've actually got the curtains to kind of cover this so it just looks tidy and away and then like none of my shoes get super dusty or anything like that it still gets dusty but it's not as bad but I think I could probably find new spaces for some of these things and that basket i can definitely find a new home for oh that could go underneath my um in my wardrobe i have like a load of things that are, like beauty bits and stuff like my makeup bag and stuff that i don't have anywhere else to put because um i need my makeup bag in my room but there's nowhere else to put it i don't have like a 
a dressing table or anything. I have my desk, but I don't want all my makeup on there. So that actually might be quite useful to go in there. Just had a thought. Um, so yeah, those are my shoe shelves. I am becoming like quite a big fan of shoes and trainers especially. So I know that this will become full. It will be full. I just know it. I just know what I'm like. And I don't want to get rid of any of them. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, I actually have another pair of boots in there I could put in. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave you to it now because I've been talking for six minutes. This video is long enough. See you in a bit. So it's the next day. As you can see, I've got no makeup on. It's uh, 20 to 10 in the morning. And I wanted to show you an update of what I got up to yesterday. So I managed to pack everything away. Um, I managed to sort out my cell pile, everything like that. The only thing I didn't manage to do is the end part of my wardrobe, which I'm gonna tidy this morning. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of anything from here. It just needs a tidy. So that's why I kind of didn't go through it with you guys. But I'll show you where we're at at the moment. Um, in terms of the wardrobe, it's looking very nice. So this is the wardrobe section, everything hanging. There's quite a bit of space like left in here. Um, some some are still, bits are still in there. Um, I can definitely add a few more. Um, I don't necessarily intend on having my knits hung, but I don't really have anywhere to put it right now, so I'm just hanging them. Um, the few that I do have out. Um, and then obviously these drawers will all stay the same. I've tidied a few of these, which I did show you guys. This one is not tidy, but we'll come to that another time. This one's just like pajamas and stuff. Again, I'll come to that another time because I will need to get rid of some of these when summer is like completely over and I'm not wearing shorts anymore. So I'll pack those away, but for now they're fine. Um, and then I put this little crate thing. This was on my shelves. I'll show you my shelves in a minute. Basically, I had a bit of a rejig on there um, and brought this over here so I could put all of my like everyday products, my makeup, everything like that all here because I reach for it every day and this is the best place to put it where it's out of the way um, and this crate just means I can pull the whole thing out if I want to, um, everything's kind of tucked away, nothing's too close to any of the clothes that are hanging down which is really good and then I move my perfumes here because again if I'm getting ready this is where I'm going to be so it makes sense for them all to be here um, and they're all kind of like partially running out anyway so it's nice for them to all be in one spot. So that's in there. Then, like I said, this is not tidy, but like I said, I'm going to tidy this and now just get it all like organised um, and looking pretty because, like, there's nothing to get rid of. It just needs to be made to look nice. So that's what I'm going to do next. Rail still looks the same. And then over here, I moved the big bag of clothes that was here and I put my Balenciaga box there. That's my advent calendar from... Um, body shop which I will be opening towards Christmas um, and then some books and stuff which I had to take off of here and then you guys have seen this many a time but I'm just gonna tuck that up there so this is my newly sorted accessories and shoe shelf so the idea is have to have the two top ones just bags um, I do need to go through my bags but I'm not going to do that just yet because I'm not sure um, what I fully want to do with this shelf I do have another pair of trainers coming today so definitely gonna have to sort out and then I've gone for boots on this one um, because boots are quite tall so I needed a bit more space and then obviously this has more or less stayed the same all my trainers um, I probably do need to go through this bottom one and this is my jewelry box but it's the only place I have to put it so that's there um, but yeah it's like an accessory kind of shelf now and I like having the curtains to just um, hide it away if it's messy um, it just makes my room look a little bit more put together. Um, it just looks like... Doesn't that just look nice? It, like You can't see what's behind it. Just It's just easy. These curtains are from H&M Home, by the way. I'll link them below. So yeah, that is pretty much where we're at. I've got a small pile of things to sell. It's very small, um, which I'm going to put on Depop in the next coming week. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry that it was a long one, but I really wanted to just show you guys what I was up to and share everything with you because I do love when I get to sort my wardrobe out. I actually find it really therapeutic. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.